Hey everyone, in today's gospel, we read about Jesus being lost in the temple. Little guy, big place, of course you're gonna get lost, right? Well, not exactly in this case. See, Jesus chose to stay behind. After he, Mary, and Joseph went to the temple to celebrate the Passover feast, Mary and Joseph were looking around the caravan of their family and friends to look for Jesus after they were gone. But they couldn't find Jesus anywhere. So like any normal parent would do, they panicked. They ran back to the temple as fast as they could. And what did they find? Little Jesus. Preaching the gospel to the rabbis and teachers who were supposed to be teaching everyone else about the gospel. When the parents asked him, where were you? Why were you here? He, you know what he responded? He said, did you not know that I would be in my father's house? They couldn't believe what they just heard from this little, little boy. He fully understood and grasped the concept that God is our one true father. We must follow this fourth commandment to honor your mother and father, just as Jesus did. It was after that little incident. For the rest of his life, he did whatever Mary and Joseph told him to do. In the first reading, we find out that God sort of has this hierarchy system set up. Parents, children, and their children, and so on and so forth. But when the parents get sick and old, the kids must take care of them, just as their parents did when they were young and sick. See, in order for this relationship to work effectively, a father must love his wife, and they must love their children equally. And the children must all love and respect their parents equally. If this doesn't work, you're not going to have a good family relationship, are you? Probably not. So if we just do this little simple thing and follow the fourth commandment, we'll live a happy life. I mean, what is our goal in life anyways? To be happy, right? The best way to be happy? Little secret? Do what God says. If you do this one simple little thing, you'll be happy for the rest of your life. See, in the second reading, we find out that you must learn to forgive those who hurt you and have a bright smile on your face all the time. Be kind and friendly to those around you. Forgive those who harm you. If you do these simple little things, everything will be fine. You must love each other just as I have loved you. But there is this one family who I think lives this the most important of all. You know what happened? Unfortunately, three years ago, there was an earthquake in Haiti. This family lost their little daughter to this horrible earthquake tragic thing, everyone was mourning, untimely death. It's a horrible thing. But you know what this family did? Instead of spending the rest of their lives asking, why did I do this to that person? Why did I do this to that person? Instead, they got together with a bunch of friends and family members. They got so much funding and so much work and effort put together and they created this orphanage in Haiti. They loved their daughter so much and they knew that there were kids that didn't even get that opportunity to have a loving family. So they got together and they built this orphanage and now there are many more children who have that opportunity to love each other. It's amazing what can be done with just a little bit of love and respect for your parents. What a difference it made in the world. So, as long as you follow the fourth commandment, do what God says, listen to your parents, try to deal with your annoying brother and sister, you'll have a ha happy life. 